Yo, yo, yo. Good afternoon, good afternoon. this song right now that is in my heart and I'm going to play it and I'm going to I might start screaming and singing I don't know but right now I am my heart is so full right now oh my god so I'm going to play this song I hope man Oh my God, Yo, this song right here. So I don't know if any of you listen to it, you know, and check any online services or whatever, or any church, but you know what's just cool? It's how we interpret music. And this is a song I'm gonna play that is, that some of you have heard it before, but maybe not like this. And I'm gonna share this moment with you because these are moments that I keep to myself in the car when I'm at home, just my moment, but I'm a very unselfish person on my feelings because even though they're my feelings, they, got, they might feel good for somebody else. So I'm gonna share this with you. And uh, this beautiful song, it's called Waymaker. And it's a song that is usually certain sung at church, but you probably have never heard it like this. So I'm gonna apologize for it, you know, if I start screaming or singing, whatever. But it's in my heart, it's in my chest, and I hope it does the same for you. So, I'm gonna press play. Hopefully you like it. Check it out. Can you hear it okay? Let me know if you hear it okay. Hallelujah. Come on, say that. 
Just to kind of give it back. Um, so today I had a fantastic, awesome day, and I had to kind of share this song because, like, this moment that I had, I have it so often because no one can get me closer to what I want to do and I want to feel than myself. So it's an action that I have to execute. I have to do it every time that I can because I choose to. I mean. You have a choice. So, I shared that song with you, but I'm gonna tell you what's crazy. You heard that song, right? There's a Spanish version to that song. So if you're not ready, I'm gonna play it in Spanish right now. It's a hit your side the head with it. Later. So I know you didn't know there was a Spanish version to the song. I'm gonna play it right now, just because I feel like it, and I just wanna share that. So. If you're ready, I'm gonna play it right now. Oh man, God is awesome. I don't know. I don't know what you believe in. You can believe in cheeseburgers and bubbles. You can believe in in cracker jacks, whatever it is. I believe in many things. I believe in God too, and I believe God is awesome. So, hey, be what you know. Believe whatever you want. If you believe in God, it's cool. All right, Spanish version. Are you ready? Let's go. It's happening. And. Ay, Dios mío, en Spanish. I love it. Let's go. Hallelujah. En Spanish. Hey, 
Wow. Okay. Um, <clears throat> put the windows up so that I can't hear myself. Woo. All right. First of all, I'm going to say again, good afternoon, everybody. Um, all right. So I'm having a mode right now. Actually, I woke up like I woke up like this. All right. So you see, um, my voice sounds kind of special because, um, and I've been screaming. It's not saying it. It's somebody screaming. So check this out. So I was doing my thing. I was having my own party in the car like I usually do. And then it's funny because I pull up on a red light. And like I don't stop having my own party in the car because somebody's seeing me or watching me. But 90% of the time, somebody sees me with my own party. I'm dancing or whatever. Got my music playing. And I'm smiling. They smile back, right? <clears throat> they have a good reaction to see me being and acting a fool. And that's okay, and I'm okay with that. I don't care what anybody thinks anyway, right? But it's interesting because there's an option, right? Everything is a choice of what... So we can, you can choose to feel the way that you want to feel, right? And then there's a consequence there's a consequence to every action so i choose to do different things but these actions include these actions include displaying to someone or so, having someone seeing that it's okay to be happy right that it's okay to i'm going to pull over so i can talk cuz i got to get gas and stuff so <clears throat> it's okay for someone to see you being happy it's okay for someone to um so you're enjoying yourself because the alternative from doing that is you being a pain in the butt or you being negative or you yelling, screaming or being or just be, just being a bad person. So in this case, I just choose to be nice or have fun or just play my music or just dance. At least I'm able to display, display or portray that. There's something that I have in my life that allows me to be happy. So I do that compared to doing something different, which I could be again, like I could just be, I could be in a car like this. So I, let me show you, let me show you the alternative. It's like this. Hold on, I could do this. Somebody sitting next to us, and I'm like, Or I could be like this. I could be like, then somebody see me. Like, I choose number two. I choose to display how I feel in my heart. You can do it too if you want. You can do it. It's okay. It's free. It's free for you to, you know, show someone love and and, and but so you can show someone love. You don't have to know them. Since love is an action, right? Just to love is like, it's an execution, it's a movement, it's an action. So showing love to somebody, something that you do that someone can maybe appreciate, at least give them the option to appreciate the love that you're giving them. So in my case, the things that I do, it's just about love. So I just do it. I don't care. And some of the things that, yo, that guy is crazy. He's over there freaking being crazy in his car, run, jumping around and screaming. I'll take it because I'm not being bad to anybody. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not hurting anybody's feelings. I'm in my car having my own party, doing my own thing. So it's cool. It's okay. But I'm, I'm being, I don't even know why. I'm, so I'm getting into detail about that because <clears throat> you know, we have so much going on right now between this whole, you know, between the racism and the, and the, pre, and the prejudice and the brutality and the violence is so much happening that we sometimes focus on what the problem is. And sometimes we don't take some time to look at back of how can we contribute as a solution to what's going on. But not because it's something wrong with thinking about something really big happening and changing, but something about the fact that we can ourselves, ourselves just by, as a small, as a, as a one quarter of something like one coin, one quarter, or one coin of a quarter to be, you know, put into something can make a difference. 
you can be driving somewhere. You can be going to pick somebody up. You can be meeting somebody. You can just call somebody. And just because you're nice and loving on the phone, that can just make a difference. That can just change someone's day dramatically. And that was just by a choice that you made. Um, <clears throat> I think that we were able to kind of face a lot of the issues that we have from within compared to trying to eventually become, you know, do like this collective act to be able to fix things. That, that doesn't have to be forgotten. Yes. Every, you know, there's big things that have to be fixed. There's big things that need to take place. But there's some small things that have a big meaning too. And um, I urge you, like I urge you, <clears throat> you know what? I urge you to believe that there are things, that there is something that you can do even in the smallest way possible to be able to change somebody, man. Just to kind of like give to somebody, Whew. give to somebody, like do something unexpectedly. And I don't need, I don't even like to get into the whole white black thing. I don't even like the fact that there's a reference to colors or whatever, because that's why I even put, I'm doing like a, a somewhat of a study about the whole, the whole, the whole thing of why things are just bad and black and good and white or whatever. You know, it's just, it's, it, I'm, I'm really digging into this, but I'm going to, I'm going to bring something out when I, when it's all put together. But, <clears throat> you know, if you're an African American of a dark skinned person, and you have the opportunity to, if you have the opportunity to do something nice for someone that is of a light skin color, of a white skin color person, or whatever you call it, that's a way to change perspective and perception. The same way that if you are an, you know, a, a, a Caucasian and then you see someone that is an African American or dark skin color person, and you're able to do something that wasn't expected because of this whole privilege thing that that you know that that Caucasians experience that's a way that's one of the ways that you can change perspective change perception so those things that we you know and, and it sucks because we so humanly set expectations for things that eventually we reach we conclude in, in, in disappointment sometimes because we don't you know we don't get what we were thinking about we were hoping for but why did we put some more effort into exceeding the expectations? You know what the expectations are. There's nothing new to you. You know what the expectations are. If if you go to a place and there are different people there, you know you you know who is gonna get that what kind of attention and who's gonna get what kind of service. So let's change the expectations, or let's actually not have any expectations. And if there are, and if you can't help the expectations, how about we exceed those expectations? If you already know what expected of this situation, how about you do more so that you can be able to change the way that that's perceived? I think that's not even a big deal. Uh, what did I do the other day? Oh, good point. I went to uh, I went to Chipotle, uh, with Chipotle sometime last week. And I do this like somewhat on a regular basis, and I'm and I'm not, like trying to say this so I can like oh Leo whatever I'm not I'm not because I'm I'm only gonna share it just to make the example okay, um to bring the example of my actions so I'm not gonna I'm not googling what I'm telling you I'm gonna sh I'm sharing, so I'm at Chipotle I order my food, and I just chose to be nice to the person that was gonna that was next to me, it was you know this maybe like mid fifties. Mid fifties, possibly not just my assumption. Mid fifties, you know, gentleman, uh, Caucasian guy, and I'm paying for my food, and I tell the the cashier, "Hey, can you please, can you let me know? Can you tell from there what the person ordered or whatever?" I'm gonna go ahead and just swipe my card for that. She's like, "Well, do you have?" I'm like, "No, don't worry. I just want to do that. That's what I want to do." So she from there asked the guy, "Hey, what do you want? What do you need or whatever? That anything else you wanted?" So she put it, I rang it up, and I swiped. I just walked away. I'm getting in my car, and like I was ready to leave. I was like, I didn't do it to wait for like, huh? Yeah, Leo did this today. I just do that on a regular basis because that's just one of the ways that I like to exceed the expectations. So now, if you can place yourself in the in the shoes of the guy, right? So check the guy. Think about you're the guy that he's you know he's walking up. You know he's he's minding his own business. He's over there. Um, 
get you know just waiting so I can get out the way so he can pay for his food and then when I <clears throat> when you go to pay he's like oh no don't worry you don't have to pay and the, per the guy's like why would you why oh but that guy they already paid for your food You're like what do you mean like what what are you talking about yeah he already paid for your food and she can give him a receipt or whatever it was I like I love surprises I love to give surprises so that's that's one way that I like to exceed expectations. So I'm going to challenge you. It doesn't have to be food. It doesn't have to be anything <clears throat> small. If you can do something big, more power to you. But I think that's one way that we can help each other by exceeding the expectations that we have, by just making things, doing things differently and caring for each other in a way bigger way that we're used to. Because society does not have to dictate what we do. We do and dictate to society. We are the society ourselves. The thing is that the problem exists whenever we choose not to be good leaders and we follow what society sets for us to follow. And the problem is that it's kind of weird if you think about it. Society, since we are, like there's nothing else that is society. We, the humans on, on this earth, we are the society. And we choose to either be followers or leaders in our society. So because we choose so many choose to follow the, the the leaders in our society. We call it this our society, but really we are the ones just being kind of sheep to what does some of the people that maybe have outsmarted us or have become leaders or have just put more effort in being able to lead the society have come up with and have done. We don't have to abide by everything. You know what I mean? We can we can be different, and it's okay. So I really, I'm going to challenge you I just to challenge. You. I'm just going to, I just hope that you can do that, man. I just really hope because eventually like there's no other, but there's no other big old round rock for us to live at. This is our earth. So it'll be great if we can be able to kind of try to make it better, man. It will be great. It'll be awesome. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the moment, if we are upset and frustrated that our earth is decaying and becoming damaged and, and rottening and getting bad if somebody else can find anything else to blame but us i like you to let me know we're doing it to ourselves but then we get upset so i don't know i don't know i hope that you can figure this out but anyway i'm gonna go with i, I i'm talking way more than i was thinking that I was gonna talk because i really all i wanted to do was to dance i mean just to have my little party and share one of my godly moments with you. As you hear, <clears throat> I'm out of it because I, man, I was, whew, when I have my, my car parties, is my car party. And so I decided to just invite you guys to one of my other car parties. So um, thank you for whoever just even listened or took the time. I hope whatever I said touches you in any kind of way, affects you in any kind of way, improves you in any kind of way, makes you feel good in any kind of way. And if it doesn't, I apologize for that. It was not my intention. If it does, I'm glad and I appreciate you for that. And like always, you can always, like some people do, you can message me or you can call me a messenger if you have any questions, something you want to talk about, something you want to share. Because I'm human, man. Sometimes it's okay to be heard or to listen or at the same time, to just kind of let things out, let the pressure out, okay? Um, have a great day. Have a fantastic day. Um, hope you believe in God. But even in God, it's, cool. it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not a bad choice. It's worked out for me. If you don't want to believe in God, it's cool too. Believe in whoever else you want to believe in. But no matter who you believe in, just please, can you please be, can you please be a good human being? That I would appreciate if you did. Because your beliefs lead you to a place but this place is here. It's every day. So I respect whatever you believe in. It's so cool. It's so good. We can still have a, you know, sit down and have a coffee, a cup of coffee somewhere. Or you can, you know, we can still talk on the phone and, and, and message each other and stuff like that. Regardless of what you believe in, because we have to learn from each other. We see things in so many different ways. It's good to learn those angles of how life is about and how someone can see life differently than I do. And I love learning. But, I'm going to wish you the best. I'm going to wish you a great, awesome day. 
And to God, I pray that all of you that just might have heard this message or will hear it later or whatever it is, have an awesome day and an awesome rest of the week and a blessed mentality to know that they're equipped with the ability to just overcome the obstacles that they have the obstacles that they're going to they're gonna see and be presented with every day, that they can overcome them. Or if not, hopefully they have someone that can help them to overcome those obstacles so they can find happiness and comfort as they walk on earth every day. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. Take care. Con cariño siempre. From this loud Dominican, Semiquina, okay? Take care. Much love to you.